For those of you who have come back to watch one more video on our channel, Wendy Williams is suffering with financial challenges on top of her well-documented health concerns following her diagnosis with primary progressive aphasia and frontotemporal dementia. A lion has been filed for a New York City apartment owned by the 59-year-old talk show presenter, as she owes $568,451.50 and 57 cents in past taxes. According to legal papers acquired by TMZ Wednesday, federal officials indicated that the six-figure payment was for outstanding obligations for 2021 and 2019. The Lion was originally formed this past January and submitted to authorities with New York City's Finance Department early last month. The Asbury Park, New Jersey native acquired the property in 2021 for $4.5 million, according to the publication. The source stated that it was conceivable Williams or her camp have handled the matter, but it wasn't recorded in the data it analyzed. Williams' financial guardian Sabrina Morrissey had been appointed roughly two years ago, which before the era the tax amounts were not paid to, according to the publication. Dailymail.com has reached out to Williams' agents for comment on this report. Williams' health troubles were the major topic of a lifetime documentary titled Where is Wendy Williams?, which focused on how Williams' alcohol drinking played a factor in her deterioration in health. New facts of Williams' health decline have been disclosed by multiple entities as Williams' caregiver issued a statement February 22 indicating that physicians had diagnosed the TV star with primary progressive aphasia and frontotemporal dementia. The health issues have already caused considerable challenges in Wendy's life and have behavioral and cognitive repercussions, according to the statement. Wendy is still able to accomplish many things for herself. The statement attributed to her care team said, Most importantly, she keeps her characteristic sense of humor and is receiving the attention she needed to make sure she is protected and that her needs are handled. She is thankful of the numerous warm thoughts and well wishes being sent her way. The announcement about Williams' health was released on PR Newswire. A spokesperson identified on the release, Jennifer Hanley, referred queries back to the statement when contacted by the Associated Press. The statement comes a day after a cover article in People magazine featured Williams' family about the extent of her troubles, ahead of a lifetime documentary slated to debut Saturday. The ones who love her cannot see her. The magazine cited Williams' sister Wanda as saying, I believe the main question is, how the hell did we get here? The family maintained a court-appointed legal guardian was the only one with unlimited access to Williams. The newspaper stated the Lifetime documentary team, which started out in 2022 to capture Williams' recovery, ended shooting in April 2023 when, her manager and jeweler Will Selby said in video for the film, she entered a clinic to treat cognitive difficulties. Her son adds in the video that physicians had tied her cognitive difficulties to alcohol drinking, people reported. Williams' family told people they don't know where she is and cannot reach her herself, but she may phone them. The Association for Frontotemporal Degeneration identifies FTD as a set of brain illnesses characterized by degeneration of the frontal and slash or temporal lobes of the brain that impairs behavior, language, and mobility. Aphasia, a neurological issue that can lead to difficulty speaking or interpreting words, can be a sign of it. The organization characterizes frontotemporal degeneration as an unavoidable deterioration in functionality with an average life expectancy of 7 to 13 years from the beginning of symptoms. FTD commonly arises in persons in their 40s, 50s, and early 60s. It might impact a person's personality, creating a loss of inhibition or improper behavior. It is commonly confused for depression or bipolar illness and can take years to diagnose. There are no therapies to delay or stop the illness. However, certain measures can assist control symptoms. The group was engaged in the reveal of actor Bruce Willis' illness in February 2023, hosting a statement released by the star's family. We appreciate Wendy Williams for having the fortitude to make her diagnosis public and promote awareness of the condition, organization CEO Susan Dickinson said in a statement. We recognize that a diagnosis like this may be distressing, but she is not alone. While there may not be a cure, 
Every day we are trying to enhance care and research into therapies for this disease. The February 22 statement from Williams Caregiver commended Whale Cornell Medicine in New York with the care and competence Williams received. Whale Cornell declined comment. Williams grew to celebrity in part owing to her no-boundaries attitude to her life, which includes exposing sensitive information about her health, plastic surgery, and cocaine addiction, the topic of her 2003 memoir, Wendy's Got the Heat, a characteristic of the Wendy Williams show, which competed for viewers with Ellen DeGeneres' show, was her distinctive line, How You Doing? She went to television following a successful career as a radio anchor, noted for her heated views on gossip and skewering of celebrities, including a disputed 2003 interview with Whitney Houston. In 2022, Williams' self-titled daytime talk program ceased because of her persistent health concerns. Sherry Shepard, who stood in for Williams as a guest presenter, gained her own program. Williams revealed in 2018 that she had been diagnosed years earlier with Graves' disease, which leads to the overproduction of thyroid hormones and can produce wide-ranging symptoms and damage general health.